There are all kinds of encoders. Optical, magnetic, inductive, capacitive, and even mechanical. Some output digital signals and others analog. They all sense motion, but how does an encoder work? Well, there's a sensor inside the encoder that can detect movement, whether it be rotational or linear. In this video, we're gonna focus on our incremental rotary encoders. Let's take a closer look at one of our encoders. This is our E5. The module has an LED on one side and a photo sensor on the other. The disc has a series of lines on it. These lines block the LED's light from reaching the photo sensor and the transparent spaces let light through. This alternating pattern of light and dark is how the encoder reports position information back to the mechanical system. But let's break it down another way. Ready, kid? Yep. Let's go. Line, 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 line. Let's say that Steve here represents a photo detector and his binoculars represent his field of view. When the lines, represented by Paul, Hello there. pass in front of the sensor, they shield light from the sensor. The encoder reports data when light is blocked or received by the sensor and uses that information to report back to the system, represented by Connor here, who uses that data to report on speed, direction, or position. I got 18 degrees. Sorry, kids, you said that I got five more lines. Line. Well, anyway, encoders have a defined number of lines on each disk. This is called the resolution, or cycles per revolution. Because the output of the encoder is tied to the pattern of lines and windows between the lines, a system can use that information to calculate speed, acceleration, direction, and position. And that's the basics of how an encoder works, but we have so much more to share in our Encoders 101 series. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date and learn more about quadrature, index, and resolution. And as always, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below.